Well, it's Brother Bill again here, continuing to be a fool for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Try and be best obey the Lord, you know. Well, it's January 15th today, 2018, Martin Luther King Day again. Heading on through the colder months here in Florida, and this afternoon we'll be at the South Teddy Park with the group there in Fort Pierce, and we'll be there at 3 p.m. If you can drive there, it's good, and today you'll see us there. So the objective there, of course, is to acknowledge him in the face of a dark world, and just bringing his light, preaching in meekness and fear, like Peter says, to a dying world, really. And it's a kind of informational preaching of what the gospel is, what we believe, and why we believe it. Why we must proclaim Christ and telling all men and women everywhere of his goodwill. And uh, hoping and praying that they turn aside and hear what the Spirit says, what the Bible says, and not what popular culture would, say, would tell them about Jesus. <clears throat> so our Christian study group this week has come all the way up here to chapter 3 of Colossians. And if you want to turn there, I just have a brief message here this morning. And uh, I'm hit with verse 9 of chapter 3. And it says, Lie not to one another, seeing that we have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed, in knowledge after the image of him that created him. What I get from that is that God made us after a pattern. You know, it's possible to love one another. It's possible to follow Christ. And a lot of people say, no, it's not possible. But with the Holy Ghost, we are a work in progress, and we sometimes argue against that, what God says. But he's just saying, be honest weak or strong, you just tell it like it is. Be honest with yourself. And he says, no matter who you are, verse, look, look at verse 11. He says, whether there be neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision or uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond or free, but Christ is all in all. And that was a big thing there with the Colossians, is they were beset with a lot of false teachers who said that Jesus was not enough for them. They had to have special occult knowledge or something like that. But Jesus Christ is all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Uh, and if you're a Christian, if you know him, then the nations, the races, and the colors, and the languages of the world are all a system of the flesh. And we, in fact, must walk in the Spirit and not in the flesh, as the Bible says. Or else just start to learn to do that stuff. <laughs> and you got to admit we're all in, in a progress. We're in a work, you know, of progress here. And not perfected, except that we're trying to be mature in the Lord. And we realize things that come out of our mouth. And that's what the Lord talks about. Everything that comes out of us, our fruit of our lips is fruit of what an indicative really of what's inside us and you got to think about uh, Luke chapter 6 verse 45 where Jesus says and he says the out of the abundance of the heart the mouth is going to speak so whether you like it or not what's ever in you and people tell you what you're full of right <laughs> but whatever that is inside you you can't really hide it for long so he's going to tell you, and you're going to tell yourself. So, and he goes on to verse 12, and he says about putting on this new person. He says, put on therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, the bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long-suffering. And here it's interesting that these bowels means that deeper inner recesses of a person deep down inside, seeking those things that are rare in the world. Because the designer, the creator God, who actually put that stuff inside you as a human being, takes knowledge and knowing Christ to let those things settle on the surface and not the bad stuff. So that's what he's saying here. Verse 13 says, 
forbearing one another, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. In other words, you know, pass this charity on. And he says, for, verse 14 says, Above all these things put on charity. And charity, of course, is that love, that divine agape love of God, that, that love that lays down its life and takes up the cross. Love that lays down our own life, as Jesus did on the cross. And it says that be in the bond of perfectness or maturity. And perfectness, of course, means that mature Christian who's no longer tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine, but comes to a place of realizing who he is and what he must do in the, the vision or the ministry that God gives you. Verse 15 kind of brings it up to a conclusion, and he says, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. So, <laughs> he's saying, let the good guy rule, that God created you to be, you know, the boss of all this carnal stuff that's going on. Let that boss rule you. Let him come to the surface. Put off the old man, the old guy who thought he was the boss. And, and I like verse uh, 16 finally says and brings it to kind of a conclusion. It says, let the word, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts unto the Lord. And I think that's an attitude, you know. It's kind of an acquired attitude. <laughs> Something that was kind of hard for me to do. But I know the Lord is with me, and I know the Lord keeps going, <laughs> even if I don't. So I think that it's this divine fruit that will come to the surface. And if we're steadfast in the faith, I know that I'll be right here just thanking the Lord and praising the Lord in spiritual hymns and songs. So, so God bless you this week, and just keep on reading Colossians. And uh, last Saturday we had a good time. We were going through it. It's been a whole hour on one, uh, one chapter. So don't stop. Keep praising Him. Keep thanking Him, living and rejoicing in the Lord and in Jesus. So God bless you guys. In Jesus' name, amen.